Hello, royal folks. It's good to see you all here again. This is your regular dose of royal news and analysis. But before we start, please subscribe to my channel and click the bell icon. Thanks. So now, the headlines are screaming, the rumors are swirling, and the royal family is once again at the center of a storm. But this time, it's not your usual palace intrigue. No, this time, it's a showdown of epic proportions, starring none other than King Charles, Prince Harry, and the ever-controversial Meghan Markle. So, grab your popcorn and buckle up, because this is going to be one wild ride. First things first, let's address the elephant in the room, Meghan and Harry. Now, I don't know about you, but I'm getting tired of their never-ending quest for the spotlight. It seems like every other day, they're gracing our screens with their tales of woe, playing the victim card faster than you can say royal drama. But here's the thing, they made their bed, and now they have to lie in it. You see, when you decide to leave the royal family behind in pursuit of so-called freedom, you can't expect to have your cake and eat it too. But oh no, not Meghan and Harry. They want all the perks of royal life without any of the responsibilities. They want to bask in the glow of their royal titles while simultaneously biting the hand that feeds them. Well, I'm sorry, but it doesn't work like that. And don't even get me started on their shameless exploitation of the royal name. Just because you're no longer part of the family doesn't give you free reign to cash in on your royal connections. But again, Meghan and Harry seem to have missed that memo. From their multi-million dollar deals with streaming giants to their shameless self-promotion at every turn, they're like a couple of vultures circling their prey. But fear not, my friends, because it seems like King Charles has finally had enough. According to reports, he's called for an emergency meeting with none other than Rishi Sunak, the Chancellor of the Exchequer. Now, I don't know about you, but that sounds like trouble with a capital T. And if that wasn't enough, it seems like the king isn't pulling any punches. Reports suggest that he's finally ready to strip Meghan and Harry of their royal titles once and for all. That's right, folks. The end is nigh for the Duke and Duchess of Sussex. Now, some of you might be thinking, but wait, isn't that a bit harsh? Well, let me ask you this. What have Meghan and Harry done to deserve the honor of carrying those titles? They've disrespected the royal family at every turn, they've exploited their connections for personal gain, and they've shown a blatant disregard for tradition and duty. So tell me, why should they be allowed to keep their titles? But wait, it gets even juicier. Apparently, King Charles isn't alone in his decision. Reports suggest that he's received the full support of his eldest son, Prince William, who wasted no time in returning to his royal duties after a brief hiatus. It seems like the future king is ready to step up and put an end to this circus once and for all. So, there you have it, folks. The stage is set, the players are in position, and the curtain is about to fall on Meghan and Harry's little charade. It's been a wild ride, but all good things must come to an end. And for Meghan and Harry, it looks like the end is finally here. So what do you think about this news, guys? Thank you for tuning in to today's discussion. As always, I encourage you to share your thoughts in the comments section below. Stay tuned for more updates on the intriguing world of royalty. Until then, thanks for watching. We'll see you again with some more fascinating news about the royal family. Thank you.